friends, welcome back to CCTV. I hope you all had a great week and are ready for the weekend. Thank you to all who made Suicide Awareness Week possible. Now, here's Alexis for more information. Suicide is the second leading cause of teenage death in America. Every day, over 3,470 suicide attempts are made by high school students. Throughout this week, Dawns for Life has been having a praise and worship service in the chapel, along with a sunflower service. So could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so Dawns for Life held a prayer service Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday during lunch. And everybody at the service who attended will grab two sunflowers at the end of the service. And they can either choose to keep one and give one to someone on campus, or they can choose to give both away. Um, and the purpose of this is to show that people are appreciated on this campus and it's just a friendly gesture. What made you want to help plan this year's Suicide Prevention Week? Um, I was talking to Mr. Carr a little bit about what to do for my NHS project and he really inspired me with describing all the other projects that people are doing to get involved. And also I had a friend that got, went through a similar suicidal thing and I just really wanted to make a difference at the school. Suicide Prevention Week gave um, me and my fellow PLUS Club members the opportunity to reach out and educate our community as well as uh, provide an outlet of support to them, something that we really try to focus on as a group. If any student feels overwhelmed or alone at home or school, who can they go and talk to? I think the biggest thing that Cathedral has to offer is a support system. Everywhere you go, there's always someone that is willing to talk to you and willing to be there for you. We have amazing counselors, we have really supportive teachers, and I feel like every student on campus would be willing to help. So if you ever feel alone, just don't hesitate to reach out. Well, on campus, you guys can talk to me or any other Dons for Life member. You can talk to Miss Support or, frankly, any faculty because everyone here has a friendly face and they're willing to talk to you. What can we do in our everyday lives to prevent somebody from considering suicide? Well, we can start by showing respect to our peers. Also, educate yourself on the risk factors and warning signs so you're able to take action to help people and actually know the difference between uh, the things you can do and the things that you can't and when you need to direct someone to a licensed professional. Just be that friendly face that people can walk by in the hall. Um, I think the biggest thing for if anyone's ever feeling alone or sad is just a smile will really like lift up their spirits. Spreading positivity. As a school, we need to be nicer to people. Spreading positivity and happiness leads to more positivity. You know, love spreads more love. Thanks, Alexis. It's your last chance to see the spring musical 42nd Street this weekend. Check your email to claim your free ticket. Now over to Pascal for some information about the recent Appalachia mission trip. Hey Dons, it's Pascal, and I talked to Olivia Fershing, one of our seniors who went on the mission trip to Nazareth Farm over spring break. So Olivia, what is Nazareth Farm? Um, so Nazareth Farm is a Catholic community in Doddridge County, West Virginia, which is the poorest county in West Virginia, and West Virginia is one of our poorest states. And um, they help do service in the surrounding community. What kind of things did you do on the mission trip? So we were split into work crews. We were there with four other schools and your work crew is probably like five, six people. And each day you would go out to a different work site because Nazareth Farm was helping at probably, I think, five different sites. And so the first day um, I helped build a porch on the back of a man's trailer. And then the next day I helped build a wheelchair ramp for a wheelchair bound woman. And then the last day I helped put um, siding on a veteran's garage because a lot of the people that Nazareth Farm helps aren't able to do the work themselves. So we send in the free labor to help complete those projects. So what lesson did you learn from the trip? Um, I definitely learned that you don't have to go far to find people who are in need. Um, it was very sobering to realize that I was still in the United States of America even though um, the poverty there was so different from anything I've ever seen like where we live. Um, and at the same time I feel like the people we encountered did just as great if not greater a service to us than we did to them um, just in their fullness of spirit. Lastly, would you recommend the trip? 100%. It was hands down one of the best weeks of my life, so if you get the opportunity to go, you definitely should. Thank you so much, Olivia. And as we like to say at Nazareth Farm, expect a miracle. Thanks, Pascal. Kairos returns today, so remember to keep them in your prayers. Hi, Dons. It's Paulina. Recently, the school got a new recording studio installed here in Guadalupe Center 5. I talked to Ms. Whiff for more information. Can you tell us about the process of installing this recording studio? 
Sure, Paulina. So we have um, such great generosity in our parents and our administrators that we were able to make this project come true. And if you look around the room, you'll see we've got acoustical paneling in this room, carpet and our door put in by facilities. And then we had a representative from a big corporation called Sweetwater Music come in over a weekend and install all of the technology and equipment that you see. Great, and how does this new recording studio tie in with the music department's courses for next year? So as we continue to grow our music program, um, we're really excited to take on some new directions that now include music technology. And we have in the past um, really honored uh, the students that are involved with songwriting and composition, uh, with competitions, performances, and last year an album project for the first time of all student compositions. Now we'll be able to do some of that in-house and really be able to workshop throughout the year. So we'll also be piloting a music curriculum for music technology and composition, as well as students that are in other music classes. Great. And how does this recording studio tie in with other recording that the music program is going to be doing this year? So this year we'll have the Let My Gifts Change the World Opus 2 project and we'll be doing some of the sketching and pre-recording in this room before we take students over to Studio West in Rancho Bernardo for the professionals to really finish everything up for us. Great, thank you so much. Hey Paulina, are you going to enter the contest? Most definitely. For more information, you can come talk to Miss Swift here in GC5. Thanks guys. Next Tuesday is Liturgy and next week is Spirit Week. Hey Dons, happy Friday. I'm here to talk to you about our spring sports rally next Friday, April 27th. Um, ASB has been working really hard to make some positive changes to our rally and so I want to inform you guys about um, some ways that we're going to do that and you're going to need to um, follow along and be excited, be positive about some of the changes that are being made. Um, first, it's a white out rally so we ask that everybody wear white except the spring sport athletes. We would love for you to show up. Um, freshmen, um, JV, and varsity athletes, please show up in your jersey or your sports um, spirit wear for your team. So no tank tops, no speedos, just um, wearing your t-shirts or your um, jerseys that of course um, would be appropriate. So we ex are excited to honor all of the spring sports, sports athletes next Friday. Um, we also are asking people to sit in different places. So bear with us um, as we bring you in. We're going to dismiss you by grade and then you're going to come in and sit um, in bleachers based on your grade level. So can we see this? Seniors, you obviously are still in your same seating area in the gym. There's a blank space between you and then the juniors are going to go at the end of the home side bleachers. Across from the juniors, we'll have the freshmen and then sophomores, you are going to be um, closest to the stairs on the away side of the pool side. Um, so we will dismiss you. ASB will be there to guide you as you're dismissed and get you into your sections. Please know that the first two rows of each section are not available to students. Those will be held for ASB, the dancers, the cheerleaders, and any others that we need seated in the first couple rows. So um, we look forward to an awesome, fun, positive rally, and we thank you guys so much for going along with some of the changes that ASB is looking forward to showing you guys on Friday, April 27th. Hey Dons, this upcoming Wednesday there's going to be a table at lunch where you can register to vote if you're 18 years old. Or if you're 16 or 17, you'll be able to pre-register to vote. All you need is a California State Driver's License ID number, if you have one, and your social security number. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks guys. Don't forget to purchase your prom tickets online. And now here's Mia with social media. Hey Dons, it's Mia. Thanks for sending in your videos, and now here's the Dawn's version of the Yodeling Boy song. Thanks to everyone who tweeted videos, and special thanks to Mr. Duarte's Campus Men Red 2 and Gold for Drama. Come by the CCTV room at lunch for a special treat. That's all for me this week, sending it off to Marcelo with Sports. Good morning, Dons, and welcome back to CCTV Sports. This week, the sports teams have done a fantastic job, so here are their scores. 
The boys tennis team beat Mira Mesa 13 to 5, and the boys golf team beat Scripps Ranch 199 to 212, as well as Carlsbad 197 to 212. The boys lacrosse team beat Loyola 11 to 10, and the girls team beat Mission Hills 16 to 5 and Scripps Ranch 13 to 12. Also, the softball team beat Patrick Henry High School 11 to 1. Now over to Luis, who talked with the baseball team, who just beat Christian 2 to 1. Hey, Dons, my name is Luis, and today I'm here with the boys baseball team. So, Cade, how has this season compared to the other season? Well, I feel like in other seasons, we've definitely been, uh, been able to start off strong. This year, we've kind of gotten a little slow to our start, but uh, I definitely feel like we're ramping up during league. We're going to catch some dubs and get it going. Danny, how have the injuries affected your season? Well, uh, it's been pretty tough this season. We've never had injuries like this before. I've gone down with the torn lame room. Uh, Jacob R is down with a broken thumb, and it kind of just feels like they keep coming, but we keep finding a way to put new people in, and they do the job for us. So, Logan, how's the team so close? Um, so, our team is really close because we do team bonding about every two weeks. And so, Nick, who are some standout players? Uh, other than the athletes we got here, um, Noah Owen and Xavier Watson. So, Bryson, what are the team's goals for this season? Um... Obviously to win league and hopefully win CIF. So what are your future plans for baseball? I'll be pitching at UCLA. I'll be pitching and playing first base at USD. I'm playing middle infield at San Diego State. Uh, I'm getting drafted 1-1. One, one. I'm going to be the water boy at UC Santa Barbara. All right, thank you, Dons, and back to the anchor room. Thanks, Luis. Joaquin Martinez de Pinillos ran a rare 800 and set the meet record with a time of 1 minute 56 seconds at the Jaguar Invitational, so congratulations to him. Also, congratulations to the seven Dons who just signed their national letters of intent. Nash Grieben, Kevin Fernandez, Alexandra Suarez, Brady Rowers, Ty Gruel, Bailey McCraner, and Jalen Sotoa Steubing. Now, have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend, and roll Dons. Back to you, Kiki. Thanks, Marcella. We'll see you next week, Dons. CCTV, signing off.